Are all your lights on right now? Oh, there you now. Go. I thought I couldn't. <laughs> I just couldn't see them. Oh, look at that. God, that looks really old school. Right? <laughs> looks like an old fire truck. If it, if it was any older, that looks like the Jeepers Creepers van. I don't know if you've ever have you seen that movie yet, where it goes around no, in a really not. old van. <laughs> it looks like the Jeepers Creepers van. If it was like a brown color <laughs> or something. All right. So this is the plan then. Right. Let me stop. Handbrake on. So we're going to make a right out of here. We're going to go right around the outside, past the gateway, keep following the road round, and then over the water, and then we should be coming up on the factory. Do you see that on the map? Taking a right yeah. around the outside factory. You should see it. Like, if you keep going past the gateway, there's at the top of the map, like top right-ish of the map, you'll see uh, yeah. it's called factory. We'll pick up some metal. We'll repair the bridge. And then we'll do the main yep. contract, which they need supplies for something. So it shouldn't take too long, but having said that, we haven't explored a lot of this map, so there could be stuff along the way that we're not prepared for. So let's get to it. And it's daytime as well. Nice. All right. Do you know where you're going or do you want me to go first? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Look at that truck you've got. It's amazing. <laughs> Looks like you just come back in time. Go on. I was going to go Royal, but I don't know. I just want to try something different. So yeah. Well, this yeah, is the perfect cool. opportunity to, isn't it? Multiplayers get get a feel yeah. for the different trucks and stuff. Yep. What the people at home won't know is we have made two previous episodes on uh, SnowRunner, but they're never going to see the light of day because we, we had issues when we were recording them with like audio stuff. So we can tell you guys, like full, <laughs> full disclosure, we've been on these maps before. We've been on Alaska together, as you guys have seen. We did take a little look at the uh, the Russian map as well. I can't pronounce it. Is it Timir or something like that? It's, we call it the Russian map, don't we? Yeah. yeah. So we've, we've played on this one a little bit. We've played on the Russian map a little bit, but we haven't got into the missions yet. So that's what we wanted to do today. So you are going to see a little bit more of exploration. Oh, my God. I forgot how icy this road was. You are going to see a little bit more of exploration and stuff, but we're going to try and do like one of the co-op missions just to see how it works. And recently, there's been an update for the game. So we're interested to see if Taco can keep his progress because we're on my host and obviously the other way around as well. Oh no, whoa, what just happened then? I just veered violently to the right. Oh my God. <laughs> it does that sometimes. I think there's uh, like invisible rocks once in a while because occasionally it just throws you. Just threw me to the right hand side. Did you go up this? Oh yeah, I see you up in the distance there. That thing's this nimble. Truck. Oh, it's handled so well. <laughs> yes. I love it. It's so good. Dancing over the rocks. Oh, yeah. Look at these. Oh, bringing my truck to a standstill. Come on, get over I there. I like the Royal because it has uh, the dual axle on the back rear end. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this one, differential is always on. All wheel drive is always on. It's kind of like uh, the Chernobyl van or Chern Chernobyl bus. Oh, they'll never know Chernobyl about van. that. So, oh, they won't, will they? <laughs> in the previous episodes, um, we invited another friend of ours called Noodle who picked the oldest, crappiest van. Uh, looked like the oldest crappiest van in the game and me and taco were rolling in a couple of hummers just checking out like parts of russia and stuff if i still have the footage i'll show you guys what chernobyl van looks like but that's basically it he had chernobyl van i looked like re it was going to be really crappy and it was incredible <laughs> it basically saved the day when we were trying to recover vehicles on the russia map so <laughs> that's now set the standard Wait, where have you gone? Are you like, have you gone past the water section yet? I'm, I'm at the intersection. I'm waiting. Oh, for there you. you are. I see you. I see you. I was a tap off. There we go. Yeah. Don't necessarily need it. Actually, it's actually doing pretty well. Yeah, I only need a couple of liters to be honest. Fuel station, 31 liters. That'll do nicely. I'm gonna try and keep all-wheel drive off. I need to try and learn to drive a little bit more efficiently with the fuel. Rather than mm -hmm. just keeping all-wheel drive on, because yeah, it's like you said, if you start making changing upgrades and stuff, putting more powerful stuff on, it's just going to start drinking the fuel, like it does in the uh, in the scout car that we've got. Yeah. Oh, there we go, first bit of water. You got oh, a snorkel yeah. on that thing? <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, you do? Okay. Like I said, I spent sixty thousand for this thing. So, <laughs> oh my god, that thing's With more high tech than my royal. Right, I'm engaging our wheel. Oh, you made it look easy. Straight through. Come on. Oh, yeah. Easy stuff. Straight across. All wheel off. It would have been nice to see animals every now and again. Not all the time. Just like see, you know, going across the road, scurrying across the road or something. Or every now and yep. again, you see a moose or you hear a wolf at night time. I think oh, that would have been you see the sign. Great. There's a moose sign right there. So, Bridge repair. We only need metal planks. 
So let's go back out of this. Cargo management, metal planks, and we're golden. Right. I can't afford a trailer. Set back off. Is there no free ones here? No, I was hoping I should have looked on the map to see. Otherwise, I should have brought a trailer. There's an upgrade up the hill. Let's have a little look. Oh, there is. Yeah. We may as well. Oh, but wow. That's not just up the hill. That's up the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to try and go for it, you're welcome to, but that might be an absolute bitch to get. Um, I thought I had that one. That's way up there as well. You might need a scout car to get that. If anyone's come across like a weird bug so far with the game where you're playing multiplayer and for some reason your vehicles are gone, I'm going to keep it really simple so it's really easy to understand because I couldn't work out why it was happening. Basically, whenever you use a vehicle and you stop using that vehicle, make sure you retain it and put it back into storage. Don't just leave it in the active slot in your garage because the game doesn't know what to do with it and it can disappear. There is, though, still a way you can recover your stuff, or at least in mine and Taco's case, because when we first played, I came across the bug first where all my stuff had... Oh, God. Oh, I thought it was going to start rolling back. I came across the bug first where... All my stuff was gone. I only had like the first vehicle or something. So I was waiting for a patch to come out. And then I think it was in the actual Discord, wasn't it, Taco? Where people were being super helpful and oh, said yeah. yep. uh, there was backup saves in the uh, folders. If you are one of those unfortunate people that's losing your mind because you've lost all your vehicles and you don't know what to do, check out the Discord for SnowRunner because there's a lot of helpful people there. But... It should be pretty simple to recover your stuff. The game itself saves backup slots in the games folder that it saves to your PC. So I believe it's in like my documents, my games, SnowRunner, and it's under uh, the folder with your big like your your number or something, your your like serial number for Epic Games. There will be like a, a backup file slot in there that you can use to recover your save. You might lose a couple of hours save, but it's better than losing everything, right? So. That's how we get our stuff back. And I'm sure the devs are working. In fact, I know for a fact that they are working on it because I was told that. So if there is anyone out there that's really freaking out that you've lost your stuff, hopefully that does help and gives you a little bit of confidence that you can find a way to fix it. Because I know when that happened to me, I was I was almost in tears because I hit the game for like 20 hours straight. So I would have some cool stuff to show you guys. And then it was all gone. And then the exact same thing happened to Taco. Yep. <laughs> and he was heartbroken as well. So... Well, as soon as I left that uh, multiplayer that we did, that not going to make the light of day. Yeah, it's, it, you sounded <laughs> yeah. like Shang Tsung snatched your soul. Oh, uh, <laughs> I was trying not finished. to be upset because, <laughs> I mean, it's a video game and everything. You know, you try to tell yourself, oh, it's just a video game, but it is 30 hours of time spent Ooh. grinding. <laughs> and uh, jumped on there. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's a number of actual backup files that, that, that it saves. So I just yep. uh, made, picked the latest one and... Uh, I did lose a uh, couple hours worth of grind, but a lot better. Lesser of two evils, though, isn't it? It's like, I'd rather lose a couple of hours than all of my vehicles and my money oh, and my well, levels. No, I mean, that was like a... Uh, I felt great. Losing a couple hours, it was, I was more than happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's like telling me, oh, no, your, your dog died. Oh, no, never mind. He's just sleeping. <laughs> <You know? laughs> trying to get around... Oh, yeah, yeah. When you're trying to get around a corner with that all-wheel drive on, it's spicy controlling this thing. It just wants to... The back of it just wants to kick out. All right. There we go. Slow her down. Don't lock her up. And stop. Handbrake on. Cargo management. Let's unload. And there nice. we go. I love the look of watching it be constructed. Yeah, that's me and you on there repairing that bridge real quick. It is. People underestimate the value of a good bridge. Not me. Not you. Right, so... Sixteen hundred dollars, one hundred and eighty XP. We'll take it. So that leaves me now with profile balance of fifty-three thousand five hundred. Wait, don't I have? Oh, I must have spent some money in the uh, in the start of the uh, game then. Right. So these are the options that we've got. We can do a contract. So GR Enterprise, Blackbird, or Morris Mining. What have they got? Morris Mining. I think that's the one that we looked at. So deliver the drilling supplies. One from the cargo container in the port. And medium pipes is all the way up there, and I haven't been there yet. That looks pretty remote, too. And there's a road that comes down this way. Where is the bridge where we are? Right, so if we do, if we double back, oh, can we go that way? I suppose we can go that way, and then through the, oh, no, because it's got that stonefall section, which we, we drove over with the scout trucks. So we can double back. 
Go through that. Pick up there at the warehouse. Have you got any way of being able to pick stuff up? Because we've got a cargo container and medium pipes. It's only one of one, but we can both pick up one each, I guess. Um, yeah, I can haul. I'll, I'll grab a trailer if we're heading back. How much was that thing then? Uh, like 40 for the, the truck. Yep. And then... You did some upgrades all, with it? Yeah, all the upgrades. Uh, I spent an additional 10. Okay. That's not too bad. Because... Some of the trucks in this are really expensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like oh, they're just yeah. really expensive. They're late game trucks for sure. My uh my favorite. Oh yeah, there we go. Get a look. Oh yeah, look at that. Get the back out. Like my that. uh my favorite trucks in the game. I haven't driven them yet, but the looks uh, purely on looks are the Derry Longhorns. I can't wait to get my hands on them. <laughs> they look yeah, really, doing, really cool. Doing some grinding in. It's cool because some of the attachments and stuff, but at least it'll tell you like where you have to search to find some of the add-on features and stuff. So like yep. search Alaska and stuff. So you're not searching 12 maps. At least you're only searching four. Oh my God, that winch. <laughs> the reach <laughs> on that thing is in. I really need to get that. What level do you need to be? Is it level to get that? I think it's like 10, isn't it? Or eight or something? Uh, it'd probably be seven. Oh, is it? Six or seven. Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe I've got it then. I didn't even see. Yeah, I think level I... Uh, level seven. I'm going to have to apply that. It just goes on for miles. It does. So worth it. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is this is the suck. Want to push? Look at this. Oh, my God. You're catching me up. Am I just clearing a path? <laughs> is that what's going on? <laughs> Look at this. It's not too long. Like, you can see the edge where the road starts, but there's just no big trees that you can really grapple onto come on little tree hang in there it's so heartbreaking as well when you're carrying something and then you're uh you're like oh yeah i've got a little tree there that i can just get a little bit of traction with and it just breaks and you're left with no options but to reverse back a little bit oh, and try yeah, and find I'm, a different route i'm breaking all these trees <laughs> <laughs> winch onto me i should be getting a little bit of traction here there you go See if I can pull you with the winch as well. See if that helps. Oh, that really slows me down. There you go. It's pulling your little donkey up, though. Look at it. Working. I don't know if this does help, but I feel like it does. Oh, wait a second. Back and forth. Oh, it does. It definitely does. Oh, wait. Have they fixed the internal throwing around of the steering wheel? They have. With this latest update. Go into your uh, interior view. And it's nowhere near as aggressive as it once was. Like, you remember when he was flailing his hands everywhere? He's still doing it a little bit, but it's nowhere near what it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He seems a lot smoother now. It, it does. Again, I think the next part of evolution for this game would be for your character to have to get out of the vehicle and then attach the winch to an anchor point. Oh, I think yeah. that's the ne next part. To I think that'd be great. It's, it's good as it is now, obviously, but I think just, just being able to interact with your character to get out and do that would be, be so good. Well, this and this truck has a um, a cab on it too, so you should be able to fit four people in here. So it'd be actually pretty cool to build. Oh yeah, just all load in one vehicle, ride together, and then go. Oh, yeah. you know, jump in a vehicle and tow that back. That would so be one awesome. One person steers and gets hauled back. Just yep. help control things. Again, though, with mods, you never know. Like they could. Oh no, actually, no, you can't because you need you need independent characters, don't you? We're all just yeah. kind of bound to the drug. But yeah, that would be so sick. The medium pipes may take up two slots, so. I don't actually know if you grab it if it's gonna do it because it didn't. Yeah, it's not said it for me. I don't know if that's because you haven't dropped it off yet, or let's have a look. So you've got that one there. And there's, oh, there's a trailer over there, too, right in front of you. Fuel one. New trailer discovered, yep. Yep. I suppose, oh, we've got the bridge fixed now. Okay, yeah, let's just do that then. Let's just basically go back the way we came. And mm -hmm. then that that road where we first went down when we came out of the garage and then did a right onto that icy road, we're going to go on the road parallel to that as soon as we can turn off onto it. So basically, yeah, let's just, let's just go this way, and then we'll find that the earliest way around to that port, we'll find that road that we can with the bridge. How are you doing on fuel? Uh, I'm gold. I'm 196 out of 280. What about you? Right, I'm 50, 52 out of 130. So, Put the handbrake on. Refuel. And the source is coming from my Royal. And I want... Yours is called the International Loadster, right? 
the international. Yeah, the only awesome. one there. 32. That tops you. you up. Do you need any uh, more? 82. That should be good for right now. Okay. Hopefully we can I've got some in reserve if you need it. Yeah, we should be yeah, yeah. Uh, should be good. I'll stay ahead in case you need that tote. I'm booking along now. I can just hear your little engine going. <laughs> in, the, <laughs> in the distance. It's not like my big burly heavy duty stuff where you just hear the constant drone. Yours is like a little flutter. Yep. It is. It's a little donkey though, isn't it? It is. Again, it is. people are not going to get that reference either. Because when we were making the previous episode, again, that you guys aren't going to see... I only had the Chevrolet pickup, which you use from the very start, and I was calling it my little donkey, because compared to Noodle and Taco's Hummers, <laughs> it was really working it through all the terrain. I was really proud of it. Oh, it's always yeah, the case, though, good. in this so far. Like, with the, the vehicles that you don't think will do so well, they kind of do. They do okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Chernobyl van. Yeah. Never mind Chernobyl van. Look at Alaska truck. Look at you go. So there is one mission on the Michigan map. Again, I'm sorry if this spoils it for you or anyone at home, but the game's been out for a fair bit of time now. You guys should have played it or at least seen it. But you have to pick a piece of heavy-duty equipment up. It's basically a massive drill. It's so good. It's such a cool thing to do. You have to get the trailer the size uh, to fit on the... Uh, or to fit the drill on the trailer. So you have to get the right size. And that terrain, when you start churning up the terrain in certain parts there, it's almost impassable, especially with that kind of weight on the back. Dude, it took me like a solid hour. I got myself well and truly stuck. You know, some like those uh, mud banks that you can come across where they just go mm -hmm. ridiculously deep. I got stuck in one of them so bad. And I was like, I've come this far. There is no way I'm leaving this drill in the trailer here because I could have just like detached, recovered my truck and then gone back to it. But you know, when you get super determined to finish it, that's why I ended up getting like, I was, it was so good when I ended up completing it. That's what makes the game so, so rewarding. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very rewarding, yes. The sense of accomplishment when you do achieve something that you didn't think you were gonna be able to at one point. Yep. It's that it's that heart wrenching moment where your your vehicle just stops dead <laughs> in some terrain. You're like, wait, what are you doing? You should be able to get out of this. And then the trees are just out of sight as well. So like I said before, you've either got to back up a little bit and try and find a new route or you're like okay come on we got to think about this do we need another vehicle to come and rescue mine <laughs> well in single player because you can't do that in multiplayer there you go i don't know about you but i'm <laughs> i'm not even memeing at this point i'm genuinely debating getting a wheel for this game because i just want to experience what it's like to see if you actually do throw it around like he does in the in the <laughs> in the cab right now yeah. but i i think this game would be really really fun with a wheel just to see what yeah, it's like because i've heard good I things I need to link up my yoke and throttle to yep. this. Yeah, that'd work um, as well, yeah. I just want, yeah, it's not, it's not a wheel, it's an actual yoke, so it's going to be a little bit different. Well, you're already set then for uh, Microsoft Flight Sim, if that's oh, yeah. something you're into. Oh, heck yeah. Go back the road you've just come on and then do a left back across that fuel station. Okay. And then keep going down the road back through the water that we came through. And then there's a right turn. Oh, uh, okay, yep. It yeah, looks like it. really difficult terrain, but I think we can make something work to get to that drilling site. So that's the uh, that's the way we'll go. I'll just uh, I made it through this pretty easily, to be honest. Oh, dude, this is straight up a cargo container, like a actual like a shipping crate. <laughs> it's massive. So oh, nice. my center of gravity is a lot higher now. Also, we said in the last video as well that the 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 night times are longer on the Alaska map, like they would be in real life as well. Have you noticed that? They seem like they are, don't they? Yes. Like it's darker yes. for longer. Which is realistic if, yeah, uh, if that's great. what they did in purpose. Yeah, it's really good. Have you seen some of the weird quirky bugs that people have come across where they just fall through bridges and stuff? <laughs> oh, yes. I actually, uh, I went, I got stuck in inside of the dam in the second map of Michigan. <laughs> Some of the bugs that I've seen. There's just some poor guy like driving across. Um, when was it? Oh, it was on the Michigan map, like the second or third bit, the third part of the map. And he's just he's just pulling his trailer along. Out of nowhere, the truck starts vibrating and it just explodes everywhere. <laughs> Launches him. <laughs> it's so good. I love those really weird. But oh, there you are. I see you now. Right. Slow left turn. Let's try and work our way around this crap. 
Oh, oh no. Oh, you're, oh, whenever your truck starts vibrating like that, that's exactly what I'm worried about. A weird bug <laughs> kicking in, which just, just explodes everywhere. <laughs> Half the mission just disappears. Yeah, disintegrates. Oh, I'd be so heartbroken. Oh yeah, you're doing it. Okay, you're getting through this way easier than I thought. Have you seen the container on mine? It's massive. Look at the, look at how tall my truck is now. <laughs> <laughs> you look like from this end, you look like a dump, uh, garbage truck. Yeah. Wow. You just call my truck trash? Oh no. Yeah. What happened? Oh. You almost tipped. I started sweating so bad I almost tipped. Yep. I've really, really got to be careful with this. This is so easy to roll. I know we kind of do this on a lot of games that we play together. Like with, uh, obviously, Call of the Wild and stuff, we talked about, like, the whole Hunter thing. But I genuinely would be terrified about doing a job like this. Ice oh, road really? truckers. Or, you know, the, the, the yeah, just the perilous drives yeah. that like, certain drivers have to make around the world. And I know it's very common. Like, a lot of people do it. I've, I remember one time, I can't remember what game we were playing, but it actually might have been Mudrunner. Somebody let me know that they had this kind of job. And for, I genuinely could not think about being in this position. Just carrying something that's ridiculously heavy, and at any moment, it could just snap or flip. Is it India that has that road that's along the cliffside that's like through the cliff? But Death Road, there's like, a few of them. Yeah, yes, there's a few yes. of them around the world. But that's exactly where my mind's at when you just said that. Like those road roads. Truckers, and I think there's no option. They have yeah. to go around them or through them. They, they yeah. have to. Oh, sorry, not round them. They have to, they have to use them because they, yep. there's there's no other route. And that's oh, like when you see them on car shows like the Grand Tour or Top Gear and stuff, and and you see that they have to literally give it millimeters before they roll off the edge. It's it's insane. Yeah, you actually have to stick your head out. Yeah, to side try and control your have, wheel. Yeah, have somebody oh. a passenger tell you on the right side how you're doing. Yeah. Oh. No, thank you. It just makes my stomach like churn every time I think about it. And there'll be horrible stories like, yeah, a car rolled down there yesterday. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, the road yep. gave way. It just washed away. What do you mean the road just washed away? Have you seen that really cool tactic what people use around the world where they're trying to get a wheel back on one of these big rigs? When they put like uh, some kind of flammable liquid around the tire. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And they light it and it pops back onto the rim. It's so cool when you see that. Yep. Yeah, it's crazy. Who, who came up with that idea, <laughs> you know? It's, it's some kind of ingenious idea, though, ingenious method that someone's probably thought about on the fly, though, in a situation like this. Because obviously yep. they don't have the tools or, you know, anything that they can use to put the tire back on a rim. So someone's probably just thought, nah, screw it. I'm just going to experiment, see what happens. And it's worked. And that person set, like, an incredible trend. Have you ever watched the, the fail videos of that, that stuff? <laughs> no, no. It be I quite imagine entertaining. It's, I was going to say, I can imagine it's bad, though. Yep. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to give you a little bit of space because I don't want that thing to completely wig out. When you went across the water then, your truck was going across it perfectly smooth, but when the trailer went across it, it did that vibrating thing. Oh, God, please, trailer. Just, just be kind. Don't lose your shit. Come on. Oh, you got it. There you go. Trailer's behaving. Right, oh, yeah. I'm coming across. Oh, this is a narrow passage right there. Woo. Ah, you got it. Professional. And I think that isn't that tower where... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't tilt like that. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, don't do that. There we go. Is that yeah, tower up. where Let's we're getting see. to? Let's take a look. Um... We're taking a right up here, All right, so we're following this around. Yeah, I really hope... I can understand why they don't want the uh, the, the co-op saves to be on, like, attached to the single-player save. But I would really, really want them to, to bind that. Because then playing with friends makes it, you know, it makes it a lot worth, or much more worth, when you're doing stuff like this. Because mm -hmm. it, if it's not the case, then we're, we're going to individually have to do all of this again. Lose that XP and the money. I think that's my only downside so far with playing the game oh there we go i see mine it's over to the left cargo management drilling supplies there we go oh what's up 
Are you not seeing that when it does it on your... Like, did you not see what happened when you detached the trailer then? Uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> that is full-on heart attack mode. The trailer did like a spring. <laughs> it was like you released a spring on the bottom of the trailer. And it just catapulted up. Drilling supplies. We did it. Nice. Nice. Good thinking. Right, so I've reached level 8. I've been promoted. New drilling site is built. Good to know I've got someone I can trust to get things done. Thanks, partner. Right, so we got 5,900 from that and 670 XP. Good job, Taco. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> we Woo. actually set out to do something and it went out without a hitch. Who would have thought? Right? <laughs> that went well, actually. That went well with uh, even with this little blue beetle. I love it. All right, guys. <laughs> this is where we're going to end things. As always, if you did enjoy it, drop a like below. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you all in the next one.